Right, I want to do a video on how to clean gas masks, but not really clean them, because I've done that before, but kind of polish them up and make them look nice. And there's a few ways you can do this, but I'm going to show you a way that I've used several times and has worked well. But I'm going to give you a bit of a disclaimer here. Uh, make sure you read up on what exactly chemicals you're using, and try and find out what kind of rubbers and that's used in the mask, because if you use the wrong things, it could ruin the mask. So do it with a pinch, you know, take a pinch of salt with what I'm going to say here and make sure you um, you know, research both your mask and the chemicals you're using first because you have to sometimes be a bit careful with some of these because not all brands of these things have the same stuff in it. So I'm going to show you what you need. Um, you're going to need a bit of kitchen roll or kitchen towel, um, preferably a few sheets of it just to um, be thorough. A gas mask you obviously want to clean. This one's just rubber and plastic so that's nice and easy. And then what we're going to use is window cleaner. Um, because window, most window cleaners are also good for cleaning plastic surfaces. I personally use window cleaner and this is a good tip for you. But again, be careful what brand you use for cleaning LCD screens or LED screens. You spray a few bits on or a few bits onto a cloth, wipe the uh, screen down with the cloth and it will be really good but it's much cheaper than buying the actual computer cleaner you know, ones. And some silicon lubricant. Um, you might be familiar with silicone lubricant if you do air softing or you use it on air rifle seals. This is really good stuff for like preserving rubbers. So what I personally use is mostly of gas masks. If they start getting dry rot, you put this on the surface of the mask and it normally stops the dry rot. But it also makes the rubber look a lot newer. So I'm going to demonstrate that now with this gas mask. What I'm just going to do is get a little surface out so I can demonstrate, you know, spraying the stuff on easier. Um, with it on the surface and then we'll get right back to uh, the video. Right, hopefully you can see all right, here's the mask, here's my kitchen roll and here's my sprays. So what I'm going to do first is we're just going to do the actual eyepieces of the mask. I'm going to break off a single bit of kitchen roll, I'm going to spray the cleaner onto the kitchen roll so that's damp and then I'm going to do both sides of the eye lenses. And once you've done that, you can probably just let it dry on its own, or if you want to, you can wipe it off with more kitchen roll. But that should get your eye bits really nice and clean once that's dry, as long as you've put enough on and scrubbed it well enough. So you can see through the mask much easier. But now the interesting bit, like the rubber preservation bit, uh, what we're going to do again, get another bit of this. But this time I'm just going to spray this directly onto some of the mask. So I'm just going to go down the middle here like that. Now, with this silicon lube stuff, you're meant to be doing it with a respirator on yourself because it gives off quite a strong smell. I'm not really going to bother, but um, what I'm just going to do is use the kitchen roll to wipe that around the outside of the mask. Obviously, when I need to, I'm going to apply a fresh coat of the lube. You don't need to do much, I just use little like squirts like that because this stuff's quite thick and strong. Right, that's a fairly good job of getting that all around the mask, so what I'm going to do now is just let this dry and then come back and check the mask once I've done that. But I don't think I'm really going to need any more of the stuff. If you're interested, I have the Draper Silicon Lubricant as the brand of that I'm using, because I know this is the one that you can use on multiple things and it's not going to cause problems. Um, and it's the Mr. Muscle Window and Glass. Some window and glass cleaners specifically say that you can use them on various plastics, others don't. This one doesn't, but I know it works fine. But as said, don't spray this on a really expensive gas mask without researching what's in the cleaners and what's in your mask, in case there's some sort of bad reaction. But, as I said, I'm going to leave that a few minutes to dry, and then we're going to have another look at the mask now I've done that to see how the rubber looks. Okay, this is mostly dry, it's not totally dry. I'm sure you can see on the camera that some of it looks a bit shinier than other bits. 
I really need to do a second coat if I was going to, you know, totally preserve this mask. Uh, bear in mind, this mask is from 1989, so again, the rubber looks like it's very shiny and new now for a mask of that age. So let's just put this thing on. Smells very fresh inside. I know I've got a filter blocking outside smells because I've done the glass cleaner on there. So there you go. Yeah, as you can see, the bits where the lube sort of stuck to it uh, looks very shiny and uh, modern. The lenses are very clear now, although they're starting to fog up slightly. So um, I might need to put some sort of anti-dim coating on the inside, because I'm sure where I've cleaned that off, that's now going to make them a bit more vulnerable to fogging. But there you go. Uh, that is how you preserve the rubber on a gas mask and make it look nice and shiny and new again. But as said, a word to the wise, do double check your cleaning chemicals first and your mask because you don't want to use certain chemicals on certain materials. But in general, this is how you do it.